Hi, today I'm answering the question about how to pick a paintbrush and why you would pick one brush over another. Hello everyone, my name is Mike Svab and welcome to my channel. I've been teaching and painting for over 30 years and I've decided to start this channel to help you become a better artist. If you stay with us on this channel, I will answer your questions on a weekly basis about how to become that better artist. Now with me here today, I've got all kinds of different paint brushes which are commonly used for other types of painting. First I'm going to show you the oil painting brushes. Now you can see here, you know, there's bigger ones, there's smaller ones, and there's really small ones. And some are worn out. That one's worn out. They start out flat. This is a flat. Some are rounds, but they come in various um, ends and uh, hair lengths and things like that. But they're all, in this case, stiff oil painting brushes. These are hog bristle. If I'm painting really thick with acrylic, I use an oil painting brush. That, now what I do is I let the paint sit on my palette and get even thicker, and then I would put it on really thick with an oil painting brush. Now, that covers those for a second. These here are acrylic brushes. Now acrylic brushes are a little bit softer than an oil brush. These are basically, none of these are natural hair. They're all made of something like nylon or prolon. They're in different colors, again, different lengths, rounds, flats, all kinds of different things. And basically most of my painting I do with a large flat. And here's a large flat, you know, different ones. And these are acrylic. They're not as stiff as those, but they're not as soft as a watercolor brush. Now these are watercolor brushes now. And that's what they're called. These are very soft, all right? These, some are natural hair, like the hog bristle, comes from an animal, so they call them natural hair. But a lot of them are, again, nylon or prolon, or they have different names for them. Again, rounds and flats. And then I've got hardware store brushes. That's an oil, hardware store brush, that's an acrylic, a bit softer. All kinds of things. This is called a hake. This is a Chinese brush, okay? And this is a cotton bristle, so it's it's a natural bristle, but these pick up a lot of water. And basically what happens is you want to use a brush according to what kind of paint you want to apply. If you want to paint a very runny mixture, a very liquid mixture, you would use a watercolor type brush. It picks it up. I know an oil painting brush, a stiff bristle brush, like one of these here, isn't going to pick up liquid. It's going to pick up thick paint. Now, because of the way acrylic is, these here are somewhere between, so these will pick up a paint that is the consistency of acrylic. I think of it as toothpaste. That's the way I like to think of it. Again, really thin watercolor. Now I've got other things here that I use as well. I have these little sponge brushes. Now, not a good idea to use sponge with acrylic because it leaves bubbles, but sometimes I use it with acrylic gesso or to put in large areas of black or something like that. People use them to paint at home. I use those as well. I also sometimes use rollers. When I'm doing really big things, I will use rollers. Now, not to put the acrylic on, but generally to put the gesso on or prepare the surface or to use finishes or get different finishes. But you end up using all kinds of different things as an artist. Now, I've got something here that looks like a brush. It's not a brush. This is a squeegee, all right? Now, I used to use my credit card all the time. Now that's about the size of a credit card. This is just a little more sophisticated, I guess is the word. It looks like a brush. You can handle it like a brush, but it's for scraping paint, all right? I've also got other things I use as an artist, palette knives. I use little sticks. I'll use anything as an artist to move the paint. The thing to think about when you're painting those, what am I trying to do in my paint application? Am I trying to cover a large area? Use a large brush. Am I doing a line? Use a thin brush, okay? It's a, a big part of it is how I want to get from the beginning to the end. So big brush, big painting areas, small brush, small, small painting areas. The other thing I want to just say a little bit about without making it too complicated is these brushes are used for putting paint on and taking paint off. Now, a lot of people don't think of them that way. They think you use the brush to put it on and you use something else to take it off. I suggest as much as you can 
when you're an artist, use the brushes for putting the paint on or taking the paint off. If you're taking thick paint off, you want to use a stiffer brush. If you're taking liquidy paint off, use a watercolor type brush. I hope you found this information useful. And I have a handout called How to Fix Your Painting, and you can get it by clicking on the link below. And thank you for watching.